So let's go into the pro tips for fact checking. Uh, these are the seven pro tips that professional fact checkers uh, use to uh, to help make sure that the information that they're verifying that may be AI generated is accurate. Mark? Well, I, you uh, uh, said this earlier, Dan, but picking up the phone makes a big difference. Like, And, and that can be as simple as uh, you see some information posted online and you call to make sure that in fact what's what's going to happen is happening or where or when and all that kind of information but but reaching out directly to other humans whether it's by uh, using the phone kind of metaphorically here i mean email texts whatever it takes reach out to the people who know something and see if uh, if it squares with what those people have seen and heard or or have planned um uh, we also uh, talked earlier in this uh, conversation about independent sources and how important it is to uh, cross-reference different sources of material and see what um, um, where there are differences and where there are similarities and and where the information is coming from. Very specifically, uh, is this uh, information being independently uh, found? Uh, not not walking into one of those echo, ch echo chambers we talked about earlier uh, in this uh, in this discussion. Um, when you do reach uh, your independent sources, when you do reach out to other people for information, a very important question to ask is, how do you know? It's it, because you might just get the same answer. One of the ways you can uh, um, break down that that process of uh, of just picking up the same information that everybody's talking about is you can ask where other people are getting the information from. And as you cross-reference that back to the original sources, you can figure out is this um, really one source of information that's being replicated all over the place or are there different sources of information that can validate or invalidate uh, what's being said. Um, the too good to be true rule is, um, is uh, also very tied into the emotional reaction we'll talk to you next, but essentially um, when you see some piece of information online, and that very much includes the world of hallucination, um, you should be suspicious. Uh, if, if it sounds great, um, uh, you really need to, uh, to look into it yourself. Um, puts a lot of onus on all of us to sort of look for those things. But there's there's an old expression in journalism that says, um, if your mother says she loves you, check it out. Um, that's probably fitting for just about anything we see on our screens, our phones, uh, and our uh, soon to be brain chips as well. Um, similarly, the emotional reaction aspect of it um, if you find yourself being, feeling euphoric, overjoyed about some information that you've just stumbled on, someone has posted something, you've come across some wonderful fact in the, uh, in the, uh, in the generative text, um, or alternately, you see something that is, makes you angry and get, you know, really has your blood boiling. Either of those reactions should be a warning sign to you that you need to go do some more research. You need to do some of that cross-referencing. You need to take all these steps we're talking about here because uh, someone is trying to manipulate you. And, and you have to start by assuming that you're being manipulated, not that this is the best news you've ever heard or the worst news that you've ever heard. Um, Dan, I, I, you you should could speak to the right about what you know aspect of this. I think that would yeah. Be so when you're a company and you're doing information, you know, content marketing, you want to write about what you're a subject matter expert in. It's really important that you um, really stick to your lane when it comes to content. It'll make it a lot easier to fact check because you'll kind of already know 
what's true and what's not. And then don't be the source of misinformation. A lot of us tend to exaggerate our bio or simplify our bio and actually can become the perpetuators of misinformation. Avoid that at all costs, because not only is it possible you'll get in trouble with the person you're giving that bio to, it's possible that that bio will then be used to generate false content about you on a go forward basis.